So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you're gonna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in power CFG space dash restore default schemes. Click on enter. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand batteries. Now you wanna find your battery. You wanna right click on it and then click on uninstall device. And then click on uninstall. And then once you've uninstalled your battery, now you wanna click on action and then click on scan hardware changes. Which should now install your battery again. Now these three steps should fix your problem. Now after doing all of that, if the problem is still not fixed, then we're going to go through some methods. So for the first method, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in msdt.exe space dash id space power diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up, the power troubleshooter. Click on next. Wait for this to load. And now once that's been done, if it detects any problems with your battery, it will try to fix it for you. See if that works. For the second method, try using a different charger if you have one. For the next method, you can take your laptop to a PC repair shop and then see what they can do for you. Maybe they can fix it or they can replace your battery.